How many of you know what this is? Well, sure, it's a Windows Movie Maker. We all know what this is. It is both a blessing and a curse to pretty much any of us who use it. Why? Well, it's free and it's really easy to learn to use, so that makes it a bit of a blessing. But more often than not, people end up writing to me and telling me that their movie maker crashes or it just works or just doesn't work right. Um, it'll kind of freeze up. You know, you, a lot of you have had the problem. And because of the little tutorials that I put up months and months and months ago, I get a lot of letters saying, well, it's all fine and good, but I can't use my movie maker. All right, well, mine was, was having a problem too. And, uh, and it, I really needed to reformat. I had a, a much bigger system-wide problem, but before I reformatted, I decided to look around and see what I could find as far as some fixes for it. And I actually found a few things that worked. One was to run a registry cleaner, but I'm told by a lot of people that um, registry cleaners can do more harm than they do good sometimes if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm not going to necessarily recommend that to you. But another thing that I found that, that I think really did the trick is, um, well, it's just this, this series of commands here that I actually found elsewhere on the web. And if you would like to follow along with me, this is what you need to do. And I've had computer text say, well, I don't know why that would fix it. But you know what? It does. Click Start then my computer okay then go up here to where it says under system tasks it says view system info click that up will pop this little box from there you need to click on the tab that says advanced then see right here at the top where it says in blue performance Okay, you go to settings, and then from settings you want to click the advanced tab, and then from there, process scheduling, oops, I got an IM, and then from there you want to look for right here where it says process scheduling, again in blue. And you need to click Background Services. You'll have a choice of Programs or Background Services. Choose Background Services. Go down here to the bottom. Click Apply. And then click OK. And then OK again. And that should be it. If that doesn't help you, then you may have a bigger problem, and you may need to do a system reinstall, which means you'll lose everything. So be sure and back stuff up if you end up doing that. Okay? Alrighty. Bye.